I know it's been quite a while since I've done one, but I was out of state and had this idea in mind the other day when I actually created these things. I've always wanted vampire things. I decided to go ahead and do a vampire style makeup tutorial for you guys. If you would like to see the process of what I do, go ahead and stay tuned for the video and I will see you guys later. We are going to take this eye pigment called Lover from Deviant Cosmetics. It is a lovely deep set red color with a little bit of shimmer in it. We're just going to apply that to the eyelids. Now I'm only taking it technically up to the eyelid line, but I'm going to blend it out past that and I'm going to hold up or angle a brush to kind of make a straight line on the end. It's better than tape and it definitely won't hurt as much taking it off. As you can see, it's really, really shimmery. Quite lovely. Now we're gonna take Pop and Purple from the same Deviant Cosmetic Company and we're gonna apply that to the outer crease of the eye right where we held up the other brush. This kind of deepens the color a little bit. You can't really notice a big difference. I know that the light is kind of bright and it shows a lot of the purple but it just makes it a very, very deeper color in that section. Now we're gonna take Scarlet, which is by Sweet Sense. This is a more pigmented red color, and we're gonna contour with that. Contour around the cheekbones, up onto the forehead, around the temples, and all the way down underneath of the jawline. That way, it just, to me, it adds more of a blood difference in the skin, kind of pales you out more, and I wanted to take it out of the traditional sense of browns. Go ahead and pop that right into the nose too and around your chin. Now everybody's favorite part is black eyeshadow. We're going to go ahead and apply that not as far into the eyelid as we took the purple, but we're going to kind of overlay that that way you have three colors overall on your eyelid kind of shining through. The black is going to help for the more smoky eye look that we're going for. And then of course take that down underneath of your eye as well. Now taking the C brush, I'm going to go ahead and just smoke it all out. This I'm taking all the way up to the eyebrow, you don't have to but I like the more dramatic look for this. Now taking waterproof eyeliner, this is my ever famous felt pen that I always use. This, I have two types of felt pens that I use, but we're taking this one right now and we're just gonna create a little winged eyeliner for this look. Make sure you get the ends pointed. And definitely don't forget to repeat on the other eye. After making sure that both of those are pretty symmetrical, we're going to apply the mascara. Now I don't use a lot of mascara, but I definitely coated the top line and I did put a little bit on the under eyelashes, which is really weird for me. I don't normally do that. But I figured since there's a big black blotch underneath my eye, you know, why not? Let's enhance this look. Now this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's just regular standard eyeliner. And we're just gonna go ahead and not exactly tight line, but tight line the water duck and just apply to the lower water line. I love eyeliners. I don't know how people can actually just keep their water lines bare, but that's just me. 
Now, because you guys might not know what this is, it is eyebrow gook. It is the best gook around, and I love it. And pretty much, it's just like taking hairspray on a Q-tip and rubbing it along your eyebrows. It just keeps them in place the whole entire day, so I kind of tried to arch my eyebrows more so than I normally do. And then, once again, this lipstick didn't have a, a label on it either, but this is NYX in black which is kind of more transparent than I was hoping, but you know, you apply a couple layers and it pretty much makes it darker. Yay, lips done. And then I went back with that same eyeliner pencil just to kind of make the lines precise to fill in, I guess you would say. And we're going back with that same eyeshadow from the eyelids and I'm just applying it into the inner corners of the eyebrow, I guess you would call it. I, I don't know. And then just smoking that out. Makes it a more dramatic effect. And I liked how it looked. And I've kind of been wanting to use this for a while. So why not now? Once you have that done, I'm taking this, this was a sample that I got, but it's called Ruby Slippers, and it's just a massively shimmery, glittery pigment, and we're gonna place that all over the red. Just adds more of a mystical feel, I guess. And then I'm just dragging that down underneath of the eyelid to the lower eyelid. Apply some fangs and you are good to go. Hey guys, so that was the makeup tutorial. I hope you guys liked what you saw, and if you did, definitely boot that thumbs up button for me and let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you have any makeup ideas that you would like me to go ahead and recreate, leave those in the comment section below. I greatly enjoy doing makeup looks, and it's just one of those other creative escapes of mine. Definitely tell me your ideas or what you would like to see, and I will go ahead and do it. I do like how much hair I have. I have never had this much hair in my life. I've never had this much hair in my life. I've never had this length of hair in my life. It is pretty long. It actually goes all the way down to like my butt. I will see you guys in the next video and if you would like to see how I went ahead and made the fangs, leave a comment and if I get enough people that are curious in seeing how I do it, then I will go ahead and make another set. What I've been thought.